This video will go over a short triggered command table sequence using the closed loop force control motion commands. We'll open the command table and then check the documentation to see what commands are available. A list of the motion commands and their descriptions is shown. Now we can go back into the command table and create our short triggered sequence. In line 1, under motion command category, click all. Then scroll down to the end of the command type and select BAI go to position with lower force control limit and target force. We set the target position to negative 60 millimeters, the force limit to negative 10, and the target force to 15 newtons. This command enables force control once negative 10 newtons is reached. The next command will retract the motor and reset force control. In all categories, Scroll down to find VAI go to position from actual position and reset force control set 1. The default values will be applied. Download the sequence to the drive. Now we can go configure the trigger on X4.6. In the IO definitions, select X4.6 and make it a trigger. We then go to the trigger settings and make sure it's direct. Next, we need to change the run mode to Triggered Command Table. In Run Mode Selection, select Triggered Command Table. In the Triggered Command Table settings, we set the Rise ID to 1 and the Fall to 2. We go back to the Control Panel and reboot the drive. We enable and home the motor. We'll set up an oscilloscope to capture the movement. In the settings, channel 1 and 2 have already been changed to measure the target force and the actual force. The trigger position needs to be changed to negative 5 millimeters since our move is negative 60. We arm the oscilloscope and trigger the move. The rising edge of X4.6 extends the motor and then enables force control. The falling edge retracts the motor and resets the force control limits. We now can view the oscilloscope. Notice that the measured force did not quite reach the target force. We can fix that by changing force control's PID settings. The PID settings can be found under force control parameters. We let 1.25 for eye gain and see how that affects the system. We go back into the oscilloscope, create a duplicate of the first one, and then arm it. We go back to the control panel and trigger our moves. we see that the measured force reached the target force. Thank you for watching Linmat Tutorials.